So guys, we are literally going to be shocking fish on Lake, I can't pronounce the name, and we're going to be using electricity to catch fish today. Yeah, so basically we're going to run current through the water from the booms to the boat, and then any fish that gets in that area are going to be stunned, float up, we'll then net them and put them in the tub, and then we'll measure and weigh them and collect some scientific data. Is this dangerous? It can be. We are using a fair amount of electricity. We'll be pulling somewhere between six and eight amps today. Like, if you fell in, would you die? Probably not, but it is possible. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Here's the real question. Have you been shocked before? I have. Um, never here. Uh, this is where the strongest current is. I was driving and made a dumb move, a little bluegill near the back of the boat. I grabbed it, and yeah, it, it gets a pretty good punch. Yeah, okay. So we don't want to get shocked today, so no Phone in the water, no grabbing bluegills. Don't touch the water while the generator's so running. So the water all around the boat. It's all just around the boat. Do when, not touch. When the generator's on, do not touch the water. Oh my gosh, here we go. Dude, I'm like so excited right now. Oh, this bass. First pass. Oh, oh, big bass, big bass. Oh, open. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Look at him. Ha ha. Oh, cool. Big catfish. Look at that. Oh, gizzard chad. Let's get him. Oh, hey, gizzard chad. That's a prime bait for a giant bass. Oh, and a crap. Oh, a bluegill. Cool. Got a big bluegill. Look at that. That's a giant bluegill. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what's that? Crappie. That's a nice crappie. Hey, for first batch, we get no bass, no big bass, but we got some really nice sport fish. These fish were literally floating like five minutes ago. Look at him. He's, this guy's bat. Oh, he is plenty alive. He didn't look alive in the water. Nice. Was it spotted gar? It's a Florida gar. It's a Florida gar? Very similar to a spotted gar. He's 20 inches long. This is not the uh, target species, so we're going to let him go. Look at that. It takes off like nothing ever happened. Got ourselves a nice big fat catfish. And he is 20 and a half. Fat little guy. He's been eating well. All right, buddy. Thanks for uh, coming up for us. We appreciate it. Boom. That's two species so far. What do we got? Ooh. There he is. Oh, the gizzard chat. Very hard to catch these guys on a rod and a reel, but that is a phenomenal bait. Third species. And he is plenty alive. Oh my gosh, what was that? Something big in there. Oh, oh, crappie right there. It's a good eating fish, but no, uh, no harvesting today, right? So we can't catch dinner using electricity. We're gonna, that's all research based. We're gonna let him go. But if you guys love eating crappie, that's a good size one. It's our fifth species, a giant bluegill. He's dark, man. Let's let you go. Our sixth species, a bowfin. They also call these guys dogfish. That is a fun fish to catch on a rod and reel, and they are ultra aggressive. Is this a red ear? Red ear. So is this a subspecies of bluegill? They're in the same family, but it's not a subspecies. Is this is a trophy one? No, it might be close. I think they have maybe about 11 inches. I think this guy. He might be close. He's over 10. He's, he's, he's over ten. Wow. So, so they're red, why is he called a red ear? They got well. This one doesn't, but a lot of times they'll have like a little red fringe right here. They're also really? called shell crackers. They shell have, crackers. Yeah, they have a set of teeth in their throat, and they'll eat things like small snails and that like sort of stuff. Like sheep's head. Yeah, exactly. They'll sit there, they'll, they'll eat them, and they go back to the throat, and then they'll crush them up. Really? And swallow them. Yeah. That's, That's why they're called cool. shell crackers, too. And there it is, guys. The bass. That's the species we're looking for. It's not a giant. We want to catch one of these 10 pounds. Like, literally, like 10 pounds bigger than this guy, because I don't think he's a pound. Eight species so far, no giant bass yet. I think we got a, what do you think, change spots? Yeah, we'll move over to the uh, north side of the lake a little bit and see if we have a little better luck. Is that there. where the giants are? Sometimes. Oh man. <laughs> giant? Yeah. How big? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my yeah. gosh! Dude. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. oh, no! No! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh. Dude, it's giant! Oh, there's a giant right there! Another giant! Another giant! I'm here! Ah! Got him! Woo. Another one! Oh my gosh! There's giant bass everywhere! 
<laughs> oh my gosh, dude! They're everywhere. Get him in the net, in the net. Oh, you're done, buddy. Woo! Oh, that's another nice one. Nice. Oh, giant! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh my gosh! Dude, it's a giant. Look at him right there. Oh, he's done. No! Oh! Yes! Get him! Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh, dude! Oh! Oh my gosh! What? What? We got some monsters in here. I mean, look at this thing. That is a tank right there. Look at the size of that bass. We're gonna measure these fish right now, weigh them, tag the trophies, and let them go. All right, first bass. That's a monster. Gosh. So 24 and three quarters. Let's see what you weigh, big girl. I think that's a trophy. 8-7, certified trophy bass right there. Lee, you wanna tag him? Yep. So here's the tag. Um, basically what we're gonna do is if you get one of these fish, this will be hanging out of the bass. And what you're gonna wanna do is flip this off. Those bass are really excited to get back, by the way. Yeah, as close to the fish as possible. And you'll follow in the instructions on the tag. There's a phone number to call. When you call that number, you'll receive a cash award. All right, so she's ready to go. Let's get a girth real quick. 17. Go ahead and get her one more. We don't need much of it. That's all we need. Goes in the vial right there. This bass is 24 and three quarters. Is it a trophy? Is it over eight pounds? I think so. Let's see what we got here. Nine, two. Oh my gosh, what a monster. That's a tagger. Absolutely. Another trophy catch. Hey, two in one area, they were like side by side. Yeah, they bunch up this time of year. Two giant fish going back. Hopefully someone finds these fish, catches them, and sends in the trophy catch. Ready to let them go, Lee? Yep. Here we go. Gone. To it. Oh man, what a beauty. It's crazy. A few minutes ago, they were floating belly up and they're just fine, swim away, and tagged, released, and a trophy to be caught. That's, this is what makes this lake the big fish destination for people. There are just so many of See, these See, they were guys. all bunched up. Like, there were like, like, those fish were literally like 10 feet away from each other. Yeah, and that was just a little tiny area. Yeah. There's, there's 10,000 more acres of water in this lake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Speechless, man. That, those fish, guys, were so big, I mean, Obviously we're not catching them on rod and reel, but we're doing science today. And to know that that size of bass, a trophy bass, are in here, dude, we need to come back here with rod and reel, man. This is, uh, this is pretty exciting. Yeah, this is one of the lakes that if you really want to target trophy bass in the state, this is one of them. We've had, I think, 106 trophy tag, or a trophy oh my bass gosh. be turned in from 106 this fish over eight pounds. Over eight pounds. What's the biggest fish camp? from this lake? 15 and a half pounds. Dude, if we see a 15 pounder, I might, I don't know what will happen. They're in here. <laughs> that's we crazy. We run into them very often. The anglers, so that's one of the things that trophy catch really finds us. We don't shock those really, really big ones as well as we do the little ones. Yeah. So trophy catch allows us to get the anglers to give us information back on some of those big fish from across the state. This looks like trophy heaven right here, man. This is uh, prime for monster bass. Oh yeah, first bass in the boat. It's a good one. Oh, giant, giant, giant. Oh, another nice one. Woo! Oh, something big right here, something big. Ah. Ah. Oh, 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 it's a big boy. Woo! Big bluegill, too. Big bluegill, oh. We got the food and the predator. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh, oh, giant. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a monster. Oh my gosh. That's a hog. Oh yeah. Gosh. That's giant, man. That's giant. That is huge.
Oh my gosh. That is 20, 25, almost 25 and a half inches. Almost. Nine, one, nine, two. That's a trophy though. Trophy Certified trophy right there. Tagging a trophy. You're just looking for that, just to get right by the dorsal fin? Yeah, so you go in between actually. So that just went in between these spines uh -huh. and that keeps the tag in place. And we've done studies on this. These tags have no effect on the bass. They're fine. Oh, that's perfect. So this is tag number trophy 1312. These yep. fins will grow back too. They grow back? Yep. All right, so this is another nine pound fish. So this is a trophy catch fish. So he's also got a tag. So you get double rewards on this fish. Turn this in, he's worth a hundred bucks. Really? Register, yeah, register him to trophy catch. Then you get some other great prizes from our sponsors like Bass Pro Shops, Rapala, and spider wire. See you, mama. Oh, giant, dude. Oh, giant. Oh, that's a toad right there. Oh, my gosh. Giant. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a fat pig. That might be over 10. That's a monster, dude. Oh, there he is, right there, get him, get him. Got it. Got it. That's a giant cross, oh my gosh. That's a big dog right there, oh yeah. That might be a trophy. Gator, gator, gator. Gator, where? Where, where? Yeah. Good one. Nice one. We got a giant in the tank right now. You can see her right there, just, just chilling. Are you ready, Mama? Let's go. Oh, it's a big dog. 24 and a half. Nine, five. Nine point five pounds. Great fish, not 10, but it is a trophy. So we're gonna tag her and let her go. So this fish was spawning would probably would have already been 12 pounds. Yeah, it was probably, well, probably 11. 11? Yeah. Oh, what a fish. You ready, mama? Here we go. Get some water in your gills. Back to life. There we go. We got our eighth species of day. Lee, what is the exact specification of this guy? So this is either a called a stump knocker or a spotted sunfish. Looks like a bluegill. It's in the same family. It definitely has a different skin texture. Yeah, you can see all the spots. That's why it's called the spotted sunfish. We call it a stump knocker because they like woody debris. Like really, and they like that current flooring. too. They like current, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's in the same family. That's why it looks so similar. But it's a different species. Oh, That's a different nine, species too. Stuff. Is it? Yeah. Here, you want to hold them up? Sure. This is species number nine. Yep. This is a this is a white catfish. The what other was one, the other one? It was a channel catfish. Really? Yep. So white catfish. White catfish. Which one tastes better? I've never had a white catfish. Channel catfish are pretty good. I've heard these are good. These are a popular fish for people to catch and eat though. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Species number 10, the armored catfish, guys. This is, ooh, ooh. Gotta watch out, that is one pretty fish. Aquarium fish, right? Yeah, so this is an exotic fish. It's not native to Florida. They're from native to South America, the Amazon basin. Uh, flip him over. So these are actually, so there's multiple species of these in Florida as well. This is a vermiculated tailfin cat. You can see all the lines right here. Mm -hmm. There's also an Orinoco. It's got a bunch of spots on the belly. So this is a perfect example of what like people releasing fish from their aquariums into the wild yeah. and how they can become established. These things are everywhere in Florida. So if you have an exotic pet, make sure that like if you get tired of having it, we actually have programs where you can turn your fish in. That way these guys don't end up in the wild. It's over 13, 13 and a quarter. My gosh, what a monster. If you guys wanna get more information about crappie, bass, and all these other things, go to myfwc.com or click the link in the description. Species number 11, I would call it a carp, but I don't think it's a carp. Lake chub sucker. Lake chub sucker, this looks like a fantastic bass bait. Absolutely. This has been found, there's been some links observed to these and giant bass. Really? Yeah. So guys, find lures that are this color, this shape, and you might catch a trophy bass. 
We got four trophy bass so far. We got one 9.5 pounder. We're looking for a double digit bass, a 10 pound bass. I think if we hit these few more spots here, I see one. We got a good chance. Let's do it. Right. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh! Dodd Super Tanker, woo, that's a trophy. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh, giant dude. Yes! What happened to him, dude? I don't know. What is that? Oh, it's just a uh, skin pigment. Oh, 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 giant, dude. Monster. That might be dead. You think so? That's close, man. Wow! That's, that's a giant. Oh, my gosh. That's a monster, dude. Oh. Yes! Demand the boat. We're stuck. Yes! Woo! He's in there. Whoa! Calm down, Missy. Calm down. That looks, that looks big. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Got it. Got him. Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh! Giant! <laughs> Yeah! Oh, he's giant! He's so heavy! Dude, this might be 10 pounds! Ah, that thing's massive! Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Oh, there's so many bass! That, that's giant! That thing was so heavy! I think we got at least half a dozen trophies in there. <laughs> so many giants! Look at them! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Hey, look at this thing! Look at that! What? Dude. Oh man! Look at this thing! Oh! <laughs> Dude, you could get hurt. You'll break your leg in there. Before we measure these fish and weigh them, I want you to go to the comment section right now and write down what you think is the combined total weight of all the bass in this tub. First, Big Mama. That one I think is too big. What do we got here? That is big one though. 20, 22 and three quarters. Here we go. 5.5 5 5 .6, 5 .7, 5.6, 5.7, 5.7, let's round it off, right? 5.7, let her go, she's not a trophy. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, she's 24, 24 and a quarter, okay? I think this might be it. That's gonna be close to eight. 7.9. Oh no! We got an eight pounder. We got a trophy. Literally eight on the dot. She's tagged. She got her fin clipped. Let's release her. All right, Mama, you ready? Dude, that is dinosaur right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Dude, 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 we got a 20, hold on, hold on, 26 inches, 26 inches, that's a giant, that's way you, oh, I think that's 10, hold on, stand by, 9.8, 9.8, certified trophy, not double digits, but my gosh, that is a big, bass. Look at the size of that fish. Wow. 17 and three quarters. 9.8 pounds. Look at how fat that fish is. What a monster. Certified trophy. Let's let her go. Gosh. There's something in there. Or she just spawned. Let's see what you are, maybe. 20, 25. 25. She's thick. Let's see how much she weighs. Nine five. Nine five. Another trophy bass. This is the third one in this batch. That's tag. Seventeen and a half. There you go. This one. That, that's that's the one you want. Yeah, it's gonna be that one. Oh, oh. Well, that might be it. Tag. Oh my. 
20, 25. Cookie cutter. All right, Mom, let's put you in the scale. Ooh, that's heavy. I think we did it. 10, one. 10 pounds, one ounce, it's double digits, yeah! Trophy bass, look at that thing, 10 pounder. Seventeen and a half. We got four fish over eight pounds so far and we haven't even gone through them all yet. Look at this monster. Another tank. <laughs> Another tank. <laughs> 25. All right. She's heavy too. It's over nine for sure. Oh wait. Eight, eight. Eight pounds, eight ounces. Oh, 24. Let's see, she eight pounds. Oh, no, she fell short. 7.5. Still a giant bass at 7.5 pounds, but she's not a trophy. Let's let her go. All right, mama. She is 24. Seven, seven. Seven, seven, not a trophy, but guys, check this out right here. Look at this. Look at that birthmark right there on her gill plate. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Four certified trophies, one over 10 pounds. My gosh. These are four of the reasons to come to Lake Walk and Water to fish. I think so. That's what a 10 pound bass looks like. What a stud. Sweetheart, we're going to let you go. Come on, let's go. So big. You ready, baby? She's ready. There she goes. Tanker! That was epic. That was probably one of the coolest bass fishing experiences of my life. Now, we didn't use rod and reels, we used electricity, but it's still unbelievable. to see fish like that, I mean, we caught 11 trophies. We caught a 12 pounder. We caught three fish over 10 pounds. How many fish over nine pounds? Five. It's insane. Yeah. And I don't think anywhere else in the state that we could come do this. So this is one of the best big bass lakes in the state of Florida. This is absolutely one of the best big bass lakes in the state. It's supported by our trophy catch data and our electric fishing data. No other to the lake do we get numbers of big fish like this lake produces. Now I can't, still can't pronounce the name. What's the name of it again? We Ohio Kafka. That's it. So guys, look that up right there. If you want to catch a giant bass, you got to come here, go out there. And this is the crazy thing I learned today is they're together. Like they're not like one here, one there. They're that one, we caught, we got like five fish over, over six pounds and back, back to back, like yeah, they, they all floated up together. The area. They're just insane. Yeah. Absolutely insane. Lee, I had so much fun, dude. Thanks for the Bless. experience, guys. Make sure you go and check out FWC's programs. Links are in the description. Guys, seriously, check them out. They did, yeah, another pound. Like that was so much fun. I've been waiting forever to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.